Beltrami County Commissioners got a first-hand look today at the condition of area roads. As our Brenda Mack tells us, she went along on the tour and the goal today was to improve and create safer roads in the county. There are 750 miles of county roads spread across Beltrami County. 400 miles of it which are paved. That's where majority of the traffic is. There's a lot of roads out of Bemidji area that need repair and need fix up. Every year, the Beltrami County Board revises its five-year construction plan, reviewing current projects and also adding on new ones. And all of us are here today to uh, actually see what's going on and which roads really do need to be improved so that we can more, uh, with knowledge, uh, base our decision on that. And today's tour highlighted a few key areas that brought immediate attention. We have problems right now with traffic trying to get into the school. Right by Bemidji High School, an average of 4,000 cars travel on this road every day. We've already had two crashes at Adams and Division since school started. Have we? And with the proposed new Jin Dillon Elementary, traffic would be chaotic. Right now, roughly waiting about 26 seconds at that intersection. With the new school in place, <coughs> it'll be a three minute wait oh on Adams. And yet the busiest streets are County Road 21 and along Irvin Avenue, where 7,000 cars drive on each day. The light timing is really, really poor. Now the counties allocate an $8 million budget each year for road improvements. And though it may seem like a lot, the costly expense breaks it down to only a fraction of what the board would like to achieve to meet residents' demand. Full reconstruction and rebuild the road, that's about a million dollars a mile. You know, three hundred, three hundred fifty thousand dollars a mile for uh, resurfacing or a simple overlay is maybe two hundred thousand, or a chip seal is down to like thirty-five thousand. So there's there's a wide range of costs. Ultimately, the resident safety remains priority. It's important for the public to know that we are paying attention and uh, doing the best that we can under the prevailing circumstances. Now the county engineer would draft up new additions. The board would then hold a public hearing before approving the new five-year plan. In Bemidji, Brenda Mack, Leighton News. The board is also welcoming public comments while the commissioners review their upcoming plan. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.